Our first time in Osaka was only for an afternoon. We were staying in Kyoto. It's a short train ride away, but this time we were determined to see the city for all it's worth. Our guide Eriko greeted us at the Shinkansen. We were a little excited to see her. Eriko came to pick us up. Look at the sign. Welcome to Osaka. Riding through Dotanburi and Yamba districts, Eriko even brought us a little gift. It's a Yoshi egg, and then you put it in the bath and, it, and the little Yoshi's born. That's hilarious. As we checked into the Royal Classic Osaka, we realized that this might be the most luxurious wow. room we've ever stayed in, <laughs> ever. <laughs> Case and point. <laughs> I don't know which way you're supposed to lay on it. We have a table here for our meetings. <laughs> Located above one of the busiest metro stations in the city, and just a five minute walk from Dotonbury, you can't get a better location. And look at this view. Is there a balcony? Wait, that's scary. Okay, do not drop your phone. Oh, I think, I don't know if you can go out there actually. Okay, yeah, I think that's not, I think that's a fire escape. <laughs> She goes, she goes, I think we've made a mistake. <laughs> For our first night in Osaka, we're checking out the new modern Zentis Hotel. We're meeting up with some friends, playing in their rooms, and we're getting some dinner. Chaos has arrived. Waking up for our first full day in the city, we set up our itinerary with the Osaka E-Pass so that we can get free and easy access into all of the city's best attractions. But first on the list is breakfast at the Royal Classic which Michael didn't even know we had breakfast included. I went to Starbucks thinking that we didn't have breakfast included in the hotel, but we definitely did and it was very extra. And here's what it looked like. We're going to go to the Sky Tower. We made a sky we made building. A sky, sky building. building, whatever. Anyways, not a tower. And that was the morning. Now to put our navigation skills to the test, we are navigating 20 minutes north on the metro system to the Amita Sky Building. I have no idea where we're going. He knows where we're going. I'm constantly amazed at just how clean the cities are in Japan and how thoughtful the city planning is. I mean, look, they even have a special line for women only boarding the train. Pretty awesome. After a lot of walking, okay, maybe we got a little lost. You are lost. I am not. You are lost. You are lost. You're making a scene. We got to the Amida Sky Building just in time as it tends to get super busy in the afternoon. The landmark consists of two 40-story towers that connect at the highest part, with bridges and escalators crossing this wide atrium space in the center. It's unlike any building I've ever been in, and the views were insane. Oh, wow. This is cool. September in Japan can be hot and humid, so we did our best to find the underground malls and passageways so we can make it from city block to city block without walking too much in the heat. It's hot. Please, why are there kitties in there? And there's a doggy. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Why are there puppies in there? I don't know, I want to adopt them all. So the Sky Tower was cooler than I thought, walking up to it, really good views. Um, now we're headed to a temple. I'm gonna butcher the name if I don't read it from my Shitenji. phone. Shitenji? Yeah, I think so. Okay, we're gonna just see what it is. It looks like it's a big, famous temple. Oh, Shitanoji. Si Shitanoji. Came highly recommended, so I'm gonna check it out. Matthew is taking us the weirdest way, down like all these strange, Tiny streets. He's trying to get us lost. Has it worked yet? I, I'm very confused. I'm gonna leave you. I'm just gonna run away. <laughs> we made our way to the next destination, one of the most beautiful temples in the city, Shitanoji.
Adjacent to another well-known district, this is probably the area I was most excited to see. Shin Sakai is an eclectic mix of early to mid 20th century Japanese buildings. Okay, where are we at? We are at Shin Sakai. This is a district in Osaka. It's like a really old fashioned district that hasn't been updated a ton. It is like what Osaka looked like in the 1940s and 50s. And we're gonna try of. and get lunch here. There are like telephone wires and electrical wires everywhere. So many bicycles, the roads are small. And the buildings are definitely older than the rest of Osaka. Kind of cool. Half of the district is modeled after Paris, and the other half of the district is modeled after Coney Island. It literally looks like a fair. We're sweating so much, but this place is really cute. John is with us now. He's gonna help us find some food. I'm so hungry. It's like 1.30. We're supposed to go to a slide at 2.30, right? 2.30 slide, I think, ish. ish. Okay, there's not a timeline there. John's gonna help us navigate some lunch options. Maybe fish? Maybe that fish? we catch? Yes, There's so maybe. We'll see what happens. Okay. We'll see what the seating's like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Walking by the Jumbo Tsurikichi restaurant, we had to stop and try to fish for our own food. Are you gonna catch your lunch? You can walk a guy to water, but the, you're, you're you can't drunk. force him to fish. You're drunk. Is that what the saying? No. Vegetarian no. Wait, oh my god, we're actually going here? Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, what do you eat? Rice. What are you going to cut? I am going to cut the biggest fish. You already got it right here, baby. So you go to the fishing area yourself to go get your fish. Why would I need a fish when I've already got the biggest catch of them all? We're at a restaurant where you catch your own food. So we have all these fishing pods and oh my god, there's so many fish. And we got fishing poles and we're going to actually like try to catch our food. Problem is, I don't know how to fish. You can't release it, you can't exchange the fish. If you catch it, you have to eat it, which means you have to buy it. There's some really expensive fish in here, so um, I'm going for a sea bream or a mackerel. <laughs> you got this. Let's got see what there. we're gonna let's see what I'm gonna find. Am I gonna get a whole ass lobster? I don't think you're doing it. Be better. I tried so hard for 40 minutes to catch my fish. How's our spirit? Fantastic. I'm having so much fun. Good, good. Doing my best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Killing it. All right. Yeah, this one was really good. How many days did it take to catch a fish? Two hours later. And with no luck, I gave up. What happened? I gave up. Oh, that's okay. You want to order something? No. John also gave up. I okay. got really hungry. It <laughs> wasn't coming. Hungry. It's okay. It's okay. Wait, what happened? You did great. Babe. I gave up. You did great. Did you, did you did you put one in the net? No, I didn't. I didn't order one. Wait, so what are you gonna do for your food? I'll find takoyaki or something out there. We don't they have, have takoyaki here. here. Nevertheless, we made our way to the main attraction, Sutenkaku. Robbie, where are you taking me to the slider? The slider. We're going on a slide in. What? Yeah. <laughs> a metal tower that kind of resembles the Eiffel Tower, except here you can ride down a 60 meter slide that gives you views of the entire district. Subtle. Very subtle. Was that loud? <laughs> Trying to get my phone out. <laughs> I proceeded to eat way too much matcha ice cream and waffle billykins. Look, there's mini Castella. It's in the shape of the billykin. It's like yummies, so they cook them right here. And they give them a little cute bag. And I also got a matcha ice cream. <laughs> it's delicious yellow cake in the inside. Mmm, that's good. That's the way to do it. That is the way to do it. We are getting all ready. We're freshened up. We're going to dinner at a hotel that's pretty close by. We Swiss just, hotel. Swiss hotel. We just discovered that the wind, there's like a window over our bed. Secret window. It's gorgeous. really cool. Through the slots. I know, through the, the slots. Like, like these views. A moment before, before We're not dinner. gonna go to Dota oh, Can we please try? We're I'm not just, going like, to Dota Mori. Can we just go down the cold road then? Oh, I see the giant crab. Married a child. Of course, we got lost trying to make our way to the Swiss hotel. 
Transit systems are confusing, especially when it's multi-level. I'm just saying. Found it. I think we found it. Go up. Go. <laughs> but luckily, Erico came and greeted us. Are we the first ones? <laughs> I should preface. We're at the Swiss Hotel. We're on the 36th floor. They have a sky farm where they like grab their garnishes for their drinks. Maybe they cook with them edible flowers. Matthew. I want a sky farm. Japan is living in the future. And the view! Look at the view. Oh. Is it hydroponic? Yeah. <laughs> Using ingredients from their very own sky farm, Swiss Hotel made us the best cocktails that we had in Japan so far. <laughs> Then it was time for a fun kuchikatsu dinner. If you haven't heard of kuchikatsu, it's a classic Osaka street food that consists of lots of deep fried fish, vegetables, and meat. You just ate the head of that thing? Approximately 10 hours later. Ahead of another full day of exploring, we started with a visit to Osaka Castle. So we have a full group today. We're all walking together and we are at Osaka Castle. We're at Osaka Castle. Okay, tell me, do you know anything about it? So Osaka Castle is actually the point of unification for <gasps> Japan. He's so smart. It's my job. Our friend Joe showed us the best vantage point to photograph the castle, which is at the southwestern end over by the Japanese garden. I don't know how we got this. into this like five-star hotel situation, but we're going to lunch. It started raining or sweating. We're having Just, lunch at the castle. It's hot. It's a thing. Do you like my accent? Like We're in Japan, though. I know. The banquet. Wow. The restaurant even had a rooftop bar with views of the castle. So yeah, I feel like if you just did like a video for, of me, like I was your B-roll, and you just like kind of go over my shoulder and you like go into the castle. It's it's not about me, but like I am the talent in this moment. Okay. So yeah. Okay. So and act natural and and three, two, one yeah. action. Oh. You have to come over my shoulder. Oh, ta ta. Okay, ta ta ta. Ta ta ta. I think. <laughs> and that's how you get castle content. Definitely go to the rooftop if you come to this area and get a drink just to look at the castle. That's pretty sweet. Today we're coming to you from a castle. <laughs> <laughs> how do you want me to do it, Robbie? Make a little more energy. You got this. You got this. Channel your inner yogi. <laughs> I don't want you got this. this. <laughs> we made a brief stop at Sumiyoshi Taisha, and Michael insisted that I purify myself. Cup it, and then let it run through your mouth. Through It'll it. go in and out of your mouth. Yeah. Don't drink it. Wow. And you can swallow. Good. Let it run through. And now you're pure and you're ready to enter. Okay. It's like a virgin. Like a virgin. <laughs> Touch for the very first time. And I just had to, I had to get my fortune read. You get your fortune. But I think you have to like... So you that. pay 200 in here, and then you take out a stick, and then this tells you what number. Wait, actually this is in Japanese, so I need to ask. No, regarding your health and your body. Oh no. You can't stay up too late. <laughs> don't eat too much and don't drink too much. You heard it here, folks. And the key to happiness is appreciation. <laughs> this is literally all made up. This is not. I wrote this. Mm. Yeah, I believe it. You mm -hmm. wrote this and you mm -hmm. put it in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and your connection and fate with other people. <laughs> you can't expect too much from your friends and acquaintances. <laughs> I feel trapped and attacked. Like this was a plan. I am really feeling this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's it. That's your fortune. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow. <laughs> I don't think we're going to leave. You're welcome to stay.
Next on the list, Michael's favorite, a taiko drumming lesson at Wadaiko Hear You. As much as drumming excites me, I did my best. Honestly, this went arguably as well as the fishing did. And for a valiant effort, we were awarded, probably undeservedly, certificates for completing the class. We just got our kimonos on, and tonight we are going to a park, and we're taking a bunch of photos together. Walking with our yukatas on, we got to the Team Lab Botanical Gardens to view the interactive light and sound exhibit. It was kind of an unreal experience. I've never done anything like this before, but like walking in a forest full of lights and sounds, it was unreal. It was like a magical fairyland. I felt strangely at peace. I really enjoyed it. I wish you'd touch me like that. <laughs> Another one of the most well-known dishes of Osaka, and probably my favorite, is okonomiyaki. We are getting okonomiyaki and takoyaki at a recommended place in Dotonburi. Dotonburi is like the Times Square of Osaka, but with good food. Here's where you grill your okonomiyaki. They bring it in here, and then they put it right on the grill. We also got loaded takoyaki with tons of green onion and a poached egg on top. Oh my god, it was so good. So what goes perfectly with street food is a night out. And Osaka's gay bar scene is super unique. With over 100 gay bars throughout the city, you'll find them all stacked on top of each other. The tiny bars maybe fit 7 to 10 people, but you'll find like 14 of these bars in a single building. Just look at the outside of the building, you'll have a sign and I'll have tons of bar names right there. So we went to a small gay bar in Namba called Daddy. Goodbye, Daddy. <laughs> Yeah, daddy. And they gave us microphones to sing karaoke, which is probably a bad idea. Together, together, everyone. Next, we made our way to the next gay bar called Cafe LA. There we watched this awesome drag show from House of Kiki. This bar was literally underground in a basement and it was packed and it really made me feel very much at home. You stranger? You stranger? I don't know you. We went out last night. We did. To the gay district. Doyoyama? Doyama? I think it's Doyama. Okay. But on the map it says Doyo Macho. It was fun. The best part was playing Mario Kart. Um, but we have to be downstairs <laughs> in like five minutes. So we're gonna close out for Osaka. It's been awesome. We're gonna be back next year. This hotel's been wonderful. The food's been wonderful. There's been a it's a lot of people. It's a lot of people here. It's Not a great, of great place to stay because you're in like you're right next to Dotonbury. And you've got a bunch of train stations right here, so. You have the Namba train station right under you and it attaches to the main lines and can get you basically anywhere in Osaka that you wanna go. The trip in Osaka was packed from beginning to end. I mean, it was so much fun and definitely a change of pace from the other parts of Japan. A completely different personality than Tokyo and so much higher pace than Southern Japan. So that's everything we did in Osaka. Make sure to put these places on your list to go check them out when you go. And thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. For more about what we're up to on the day-to-day, check out the description below for our Instagram, TikTok, and everything else. And we'll see you in the next video in Tokyo. Bye!